HCR, Designing for Cognitive Styles of Individual Users. Introduction. One important consideration is that data, particularly data used for decision making, are made available in different forms so that users with different cognitive abilities can make sense of them. Some users may prefer to examine tables and make decisions. Some prefer graphs and others want to read text. It is even possible for the same person to want different types of presentations at different times. For example, suppose a manager wants to compare inventory held at different stores in a region. A graph can present the data very effectively. A column chart can use colors to show when a store is near its stock out level, and it can also show the relative amount of stock by allowing the user to visually compare the height of the bars directly. So how the human brain works? The human brain is an intricate organ. At approximately 3 pounds, it contains about 100 billion neurons and 100 trillion connections. Your brain is command central of all you think, feel, and do. Your brain is divided into two halves of, or hemispheres. Within each half, particular regions control certain functions. The two sides of your brain look very much alike, but there's a huge difference in how they process information. Despite their contrasting styles, the two halves of your brain don't work independently of each other. Different parts of your brain are connected by nerve fibers. If a brain injury severed the connection between the sides, you could still function, but the lack of integration could cause some impairment. The human brain is constantly reorganizing itself. It's adaptable to change, whether it's physical or through life experience. It's tailor-made for learning. As scientists continue mapping the brain, we're gaining more insights into which parts control necessary functions. This information is vital to advancing research into brain disease and injuries and how to recover from them. The left brain and the right brain theory. So as you can see here, uh, the brain is divided into two hemispheres. So we have the left brain and the right brain. Now what's the difference between uh, these two? Or where are these hemispheres used? So according to the theory, the left brain is for thinking in words, sequencing, linear thinking, mathematics, facts, and logic. And the right brain is for feelings, visualization, imagination, intuition, rhythm, holistic thinking, and arts. So that's why if, let's say, you're good in math, then most probably you're more of a left brainer or good in logic but if you are good in arts or rhythm maybe you're a good singer or a good dancer then that means that you're more of a right brainer that's according to the le uh, left brain and the right brain theory so the theory that is that the people are either left brain or right brain meaning that one side of the brain is dominant. If you're mostly analytical and method methodical in your thinking, you're said to be left-brained. If you tend to be more creative or artistic, you're thought to be right-brained. This theory is based on the fact that the brain's two hemispheres function differently. This first came to light in the 1960s. And thanks to the research of psychobiologist and Nobel Prize winner Roger W. That's uh, w. Sperry. The left, left brain is more verbal, analytical, and orderly than the right brain. It's sometimes called the digital brain. So maybe because uh, it is what is used also for uh, digital. Uh, thinking like for example programming etc 
It's better at things like reading, writing, and computations. According to Sperry, Sperry's data research, but the left brain is also connected to logic, sequencing, linear thinking, mathematics, facts, and thinking in words. So, because of that, let's say for example, left brainer may be more on words rather than figures. So rather than chart, that's why if you're going to design your output for left brainers, then maybe you just have to use text or digits or numbers. Sparrow's data research suggests that right brain is also connected to imagination, holistic thinking, intuition, arts, rhythm, nonverbal cues, feelings, visualization, and daydreaming. So that's for right brainer. And because of this, if you're going to design output, you should be thinking of both this one. So there are, uh, you should know that there are persons that are dominantly left, their, their left brain is more dominant than their right brain and vice versa. That's why you have to display data or information in several ways. So that, uh, again, it can be it would be pleasing for the user. Whatever uh, hemisphere of the brain he is dominant with. So these are some tools to visualize data in various ways. So one is Excel. So we can use pivot tables and pivot charts. So using pivot tables, we can manipulate the data and we can also dis uh, display charts. And that's why it's called pivot because we can rotate the data and we can display data in several ways. And we also have the Tableau, which is actually a very, very popular uh, tool or application in visualizing data. Now here are some examples. So this is an example, but this is not in. Uh, this is actually a Pivot table, but I think this is in Tableau. So, or uh, yes, it's Tableau. So this table is showing the daily sales by category and by region. That's why you notice we have Central, East, and West. So by just looking at this, we know. That this one is a sales for central east and west and we have here the categories furniture office supplies and technology so at a glance we can see that in the east the sales for technology is a lot higher than office supplies and furnitures etc so actually in all regions technology is higher but notice that it is very much higher in the east as compared with the west and central so because of this we can easily uh, make conclusions or make observations because we can visually uh, see the sales data here's another example so here the products yielding losses are highlighted in bright red on this scatter plot create, created using the blue so here we will, we can immediately see what are the products that are losing so the one in red means loss so we have a loss in furniture at, I cannot anymore read but so this will more or less immediately highlight the losses and maybe the green are the gains and the gray ones are more on something neutral so maybe this is the boundary so anything above the boundary are gains and below the boundary are losses so the red ones will immediately uh, get our attention about these losses here's another one so here we we don't have only visualization of data but we also have the text itself or the number the digit itself so this one might be better for some because we can view the data itself and also the charts. So these are ways of presenting output. So again, why do we do this? Because some users prefer digits or numbers while some prefer visual. Again, those who prefer digits are maybe more of a left brainer or don't their left brain is more dominant than the right brain and those that prefer 
maybe charts are those that are their brain is more uh, the right brain is more dominant than the left brain so you have to consider this in your design so thank you very much for viewing this video